God helps those who help themselves. Do you believe that? I know it sounds like a cliche, but truly God helps those who help themselves. The question is, how prepared are you? You would never see a building erected beautifully on a piece of land without first preparing for it. The preparation includes architectural work which involves the building design. Then, a survey is carried out. It is after all these have been put into place, the actual building begins until it is completed. If God is to help you, you need to be prepared. Preparation creates readiness. Just like a farmer expecting rain and has nothing planted in the soil, is the same way a person who is expecting help from God and is not prepared for it. They say life favors the prepared. There is nothing such as luck. What we call luck is preparation. Come in face to face with opportunity. When you prepare, you equip yourself with all the things you need. That includes knowledge, advice, experiences and the likes. A man who fails to prepare is already setting himself up for failure. Preparation also means putting yourself at a vantage point. A vantage point is a position or standpoint from which something is viewed or considered. You need to be in tune when you want to receive help from God. It is part of your preparation so that you don't miss out on his help when he shows up. Do you remember the story of the five wise and five foolish virgins? They were all virgins, but what made some outstanding is the preparation they had and how in tune they are with the arrival of the bridegroom. Two things there. One, the wise ones had extra oil just in case the bridegroom didn't come early. And number two, they were at a vintage position. If these two things were not in place, there's no way they would have received help. Preparation also means staying focused. When you are focused, you are hardly distracted. Distracted people can't receive help because when the help comes, there will be nowhere to be found. Focus sharpens your vision. Focus keeps you in check. Focus helps you stay grounded. So focused people are prepared people. They will never lack the help they desire. If God is to help you, you need to position yourself. Every delivery comes to a particular address. If by any chance you are not present when the package arrives, it would only mean that the recipient of that delivery will miss it. God's help comes as a delivery. And the only way to get that help is when you are well positioned. If you miss out on where you are supposed to be at the time you are supposed to be there, chances are you may not receive that help. So, positioning yourself is very important. It is not enough to pray for that help alone. You also need a position yourself for it. If God is to help you, you need to believe in yourself. Before anyone can consider you for help, you need to believe in yourself first. Believing begins with a mindset. The woman with the issue of blood convinced herself that it was her time to say goodbye to that long-standing sickness. She touched Jesus by faith unknown to him and she received her healing because she believed. You too need to believe in yourself. Believing is important when it comes to receiving help from God. Don't just believe in yourself alone, believe also in God. So, believing is a two-way journey. If God shows up and he doesn't find that ingredient of faith in you, he just might draw back. So, believing is therefore a major part of receiving help from God. You have your part to play. You play your part and let him play his. 
please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.